And with the bad economy, more and more small businesses are sprouting up. One local group says people are working for themselves with no one else to work for. Six News reporter Hannah Kim introduces us to one man who calls himself an opportunity seeker and shows us how his idea is taking off. You could say this is the product of the economy. Essentially it is a vinyl, latex-based ink. A recent UT graduate facing a bad economy with no job, Matt Tonstall had an aha moment about two months ago walking by one of these. The idea? Charge businesses to place ads in and around porta-potties like here on the UT campus. We're actually expanding into Chicago right now. With companies not adding jobs, like Tunstall, many are employing themselves. We are seeing a great deal of those people. Rob Carpick with Tennessee Small Business Development Centers works around the clock guiding and training aspiring entrepreneurs. Experts say if you want to start your own business, there are two things to keep in mind. Do what you know and do what you love. For Matt Tunstall, well, he doesn't have a passion for portable potties, but he does for advertising. Having to eat, sleep, drink the business, wake up in the morning thinking about it, wake up in the middle of the night thinking about it. And with many failing small businesses, Carpick says be smart about your money in the beginning. You just have to be careful not to invest too much capital. Most small businesses do fail. This 27-year-old knows what's at stake, but so far his business is thriving with essentially no overhead and you could say a captive audience. They have no choice but to be in there, so... What else are they going to do, right? Exactly. So we give them something to read. In Knoxville, Hannah Kim, 6 News. Well, according to the Tennessee Small Business Development Centers, there was a 27% increase in small business startups last year, most of them in Knox, Anderson, and Blunt counties.